हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एज डेटा फैक्ट्री इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स इन दिस वीडियो वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर हैज कमेंटेड दिस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन डू दिस सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक वी आर हैविंग टोटल थर्टी फाइल्स इन साइड द ब्लॉग स्टोरेज एंड वी नीड टू कॉपी दो थर्टी फाइल्स इन साइड द एज सिक्वल but there is no predefined tables available inside the database so what we have to do we have to first create the table and then we need to load the data into that table so it should be having 30 table inside the destination and those 30 tables we are going to create at run time and loading the data into that so how we can achieve this inside the data factory we'll see in this video so here as you can see i am not having total 30 files so i am total having 8 files so these 8 files will be going to load inside the sql server and these are the employee files and let me try to open the employee file so i can show you whatever the data is available under this file so as you can see it is having total 4 columns so we need to load the data from these files to the table so let me quickly go inside the browser and inside the input container of the blob storage i have already uploaded these files so as you can see total 8 files i have uploaded so we need to load these files inside the sql server so let me quickly go inside the data factory and here we need to design a pipeline so let me try to add a new pipeline and here first we have to use the get metadata activity so what get metadata activity will be doing it will be going to get all these files that you can see over here so it will be going to get all these file names so let me use the get metadata we can drag and drop here and after this we can go directly inside the settings and in we need to set up the data set so i am going to create a new data set and source is the as your blob storage let me click on continue so the file which is the excel type as you can also verify this is excel sx so we can select excel and here let me try to use the link service so this is the link service we have already created let me try to browse for the path and here input folder we can click on that input and we need to select this input we are not required to select any file because we are going to get all these files from this get metadata and after that we can see the excel workbook so this worksheet mode either we can go with the name or we can go with the index so i am going to go with the index and i am going to specify zero so it will be going to pick the first sheet from that excel workbook now first row as header we can set this and click on okay so it is going to create this data set and all the files that we want we will be getting by using this get metadata one so under the field list we have to select the child item so let me select the child item and try to debug it so once it will be executed we will be seeing all those eight files so it got executed let me check the output so inside the output of the child items the name name property we are having all these files so that looks good next we need to loop through with all these files one by one and after that we need to copy inside the sql server so we have to use the for each activity and we need to connect with the success of the get metadata one here we need to loop through we inside the items we can check the child item of the get metadata one so that we can see so child items we are having total 8 so for each will be executed 8 times one for each after that inside the activity simply we have to use the copy data activity because we want to copy the data so here inside the source we have to select the source but this source is the dynamic it will be going to point out this input location but the file name we are getting from the for each activity so we need to make this source as dynamic so let me click on new and here let me select the azure blob storage click on continue excel file click on continue here we can select the link service that we have already created we can browse and select the input here 
and click on OK. Here we can go with the seat index. So I'm going to specify zero. First row as the header. So that looks OK. Everything is same. Click on OK. Let me try to open this data set for making it as dynamic. So as we can see the file name, we need to get it from the for each activity. So let me try to create a parameter here first. And this is the file name and go to the connection and make this file name as dynamic from this parameter. So once we made this change in the data set, let me go inside the pipeline and pipeline. We can see the data set is asking for this input value for this parameter. So let me try to go here and we need to get the name property as we have already seen inside the get metadata one. Let me click on OK. So we have done with the source. It will be going to loop through with all these files one by one. Inside the sync, we also need to make this data set as dynamic and files we are required to create at runtime. So let me try to click on new and this time we are going with the Azure SQL. So we can select Azure SQL database, click on continue. Here we need to select this link service that we have already created and inside the tables, if we are going to select any one of the table, so all the files will be going to load in this table, but this table is not available. So let me go with the none. So we'll make few changes. So don't worry for now. Let me click on OK. So as we can see, this sync is created. Let me click on open here. We are required to make few changes. So first thing, this table name we want to get from the parameter. So here we can see the parameter. Let me call this as table name and inside this connection, we can see this table. Click on edit. This is the schema name. So by default, it would be picking DBO. So I'm OK with that inside this. I am going to use this parameter that we have created and this parameter value we should be getting from the Excel file. So whatever the Excel file name will be your table name. If you can go back to the pipeline, so it should be asking the value as we can see. So it is having the table name. So we need to supply this table name from this for each activity with the name. So whatever the Excel file name will be your table name. But if you can go here and we will be seeing it is having something dot Excel SX in the file name. But we don't want to use this Excel SX over here inside the table. So what we need to do, we need to make few changes on this expression builder. So here we need to use the replace function. So under the functions, let me go and search for the replace. We can select. So here we want to replace from this input parameter of the for each activity. What we want to replace, we want to replace dot Excel SX. And we need to make this as blank. So this is the change that we have to make. Let me click on OK. Now we have done everything. One thing that you have to see the table option. So here table is not created. So we want to create the table at runtime so we can select this radio button as auto create table. So this is the only change that you have to make. Let me try to execute this pipeline and we'll see. Okay, here it is asking we have forget to select the seat name. So seat name will be the zero. So it will be picking the first seat. Let me try to debug it again. So it will be going to execute and we'll be seeing the output. So get metadata one is executed successfully. If you can go in the downside and we want to check, then we can see it is having all these employee names. Excel file and if you want to see the for each, so it should be going to execute eight times that we can see the item count is eight. Now we can see the copy activity is executing and that is executed successfully. So if you can go inside the SSMS and let me try to execute this query to verify the tables, then we should be seeing like all these eight tables has been created earlier. It was not here. Let me try to cross verify the data as well. So let me use the select as tick from this table. And here we should be seeing the data in this table that we can see. 
so all the data is also copied so i hope guys you have understood how we can create this pipeline so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video